Man, it feels real like nostalgic to be back in this garage. <laughs> Alright guys, so today, if you guys would have missed several videos ago, um, and sorry about the messy scenery, but you guys are like somewhat used to this, at least my little older subscribers are. Shout out to anyone who's a new subscriber. You guys are awesome. Thanks for joining the joining the crew. Today we're going to go ahead and try to get this Beamer up and running and fixed. Uh, I got a new cam posi uh, camshaft position sensor right here, so hopefully this will kind of... I guess fix our problems. It's a pretty simple install, so let's just go ahead. I just wanna get this thing fixed up and running and uh, sell this thing, because <laughs> uh, tonight I'm actually going to look at a new car. Basically what you have to do is, I think you may have to take off this oil feed line or oil drain, whatever this is, maybe the oil filter cap, this little solenoid sensor thing, and then our sensor is just underneath, so I'll go ahead and keep you guys updated. All right, so, got everything back together. Moment of truth, let's give it a shot. The MOT, the moment of truth. Oh, I, I gotta plug the sensor in, man. All right, I think we should be good, <laughs> I think we should be good now. All right. Damn it, dude. So I got one of these freaking OBD scanners and I got Code 1250 and 1188. I feel like I've had that 1188 for a while, but 1250 is new. So I'm gonna go ahead and check this out and see what we got here. I did a little quick little research on this P1250 code. Now it's it's could be a multiple things. There's no like complete direct answer. It could be a fuel filter. That it says like the because the fuel level is too low, but that's clearly not the case. I have half a tank of fuel, so maybe the fuel fil filter's clogged up. If you guys have any suggestions or ideas, let me know. Thanks. What? What? shot or it's just not responding because I did okay. actually start it up and try to run it a little while longer yeah. and I had to just jump it again. No way. Alright. Probably just need a new battery or something. Like uh, I had a rust coating solid. applied to the underside of it. Too. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's it's, huge. Oh, so it's, it's a weird kind of version. There's a lot of paper. Just the uh, yeah, yeah little that's warm. the cosmetic damage. Ah, it's not a big deal. Yeah, but I mean the seats are pretty functional. I mean I can't really. Oh, two tops out. Oh yeah, I want to make sure you do. This is got a little crack in it right here. Oh, the trim. This is, okay. Yeah, just the plastic just the trim. trim okay. Um, Man, this is. It was is... the original bag for the two tops themselves. Oh wow. I did actually spill a candle. Weird story. <laughs> so it will smell heavily of citronella. Hey, that's, that's better. It. it could be worse. Look this is clean. Here. This is Look nice. And the AC where everything works? Oh, fully functional, except what? for the fact that the coolant leaks, so the heater is a little diminished capacity. So, the coolant leaks. 116,000. So, all right, so. Yeah, yeah, you want me to show you that? Yeah, yeah, so. See all that mist right there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is the end of a coolant line. Right? Yeah. No, you can't actually see it. Um, so, basically, what it is, is there's a terminal line, coolant line that terminates. And unfortunately, you see all that stuff attached to that here. Yeah. Yeah, uh, no. Not one of these. So, no. That's literally the coolant dripping out of the exhaust. All right, so it's just a little like a little uh, cap you have in the back that's like yeah. Not... But the problem is it's made out of vacuum tube rubber. Oh, so it's just not open. holding up. It held for a long time. I even have one that's using a silicone on the other side. Okay, which works just fine. Literally, it's, the, it's literally the nub end of a coolant line. It just has a zip tie over it holding it on. Okay. So yeah, it's... shitty repair on my job. Shouldn't have done it. But so the thing is, you look, uh, the high beams. So yep. they go on just fine. 
They do not shut off all the time just fine. Oh, I this see. This switch oh, is right. not activating. You can click it, eventually it goes off. It's a gotcha. perfect example of what it does. Gotcha, Worst gotcha. part is when you're driving, it comes on on its own. Oh, really? You can't shut it off. No. That's what that is. Dope. That's never happened before. What the hell happened? All right. Well, first off, we are, yes, I, I, I do apologize. We're recording on the Potato 7, the 8, some iPhone. So, yes, the package is acquired. We got it, guys. The hype is so real. Literally on the way to the garage right now. Um, Got to stop at Walmart, get a new battery because if you guys would have heard, it seems like this one is not holding any charge just just from sitting um, over the winter because it hasn't been hasn't been driven. So, yeah, I'm dude. I'm uh, <laughs> this car is so much nicer, so much nicer than I like initially planned. Um, dude, I, I can't wait to show you guys kind of more in depth. So stay tuned. We're almost at the shop. We'll get a good look at this thing, man. I can't. I just can't wait to just dive in and just start learning new things, new car. It's gonna be awesome. We'll catch back up here in a bit. This car is too good, man. She is too good. <laughs> Can't wait, got the battery. Let's go to the shop. Oh, it's nippy. <laughs> we we gotta clear some room here. <laughs> There's what we want. All right, nice little swap. All right, guys, so it is actually not too cold in the shop, believe it or not. It is it is 39 in the shop and it is 20 degrees outside. So uh, we got to clear some room though. So we have just a couple things. We got to move our hood. It's crazy how crowded this, I love it. Like I love how many cars are in the shop, man. It's so cool. A lot are leaving though, come like closer to springtime and the Fiero is leaving in June. So we'll have some room. However, we got some cars coming, so uh, Definitely, definitely stay tuned, guys. Oh, man, this car this car is looking real good, dude. Enough chat, and it's late. I really don't want to spend too much time here, guys. We're going to kind of just get things done, get the car in here. We'll take a quick look at it, and then we'll be back here tomorrow to kind of dive deep and uh, just start dissecting, man. Getting familiar with the 300ZX platform is going to be it's, it's something I'm super, super excited for. I hope you guys are as well. Please smash that thumbs up button if you guys are stoked. Let's get this car in here. Well, well, first, 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 we have to clean. You know, first we have to clean, but yes. Whoa! Oh, losing our, losing our bump. All right. Good enough for now. Like I said, we'll. Work with it. Looks like we're uh, changing a battery outside in the freezing cold. Hopefully, it'll be a quick one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got power. <clears throat> Woo! Hey now, hey now. I don't even know how any of this works, bro. <laughs> Money. Stock exhaust, bro. So much to do to this car, I can't wait, dude. Oh, uh, welcome home. All right, I'm kind of putting it in the shop here, but we'll have to give her the jammy. I'm 
gonna do, what I'm gonna do is pull the trailer forward because I. What? The freaking ramp came off. Yeah, she hole. She hole, welcome hole. Let's check this thing out. Guys, this, this car, oh man, I have, oh boy. Yeah, so, the new car. <laughs> Guys, this is a 1990 Nissan 300ZX, naturally aspirated, actually, if you guys are, yeah, you see that? That's the old granny stick in there. Let me tell you just a little bit about this car in this video, guys, and then I'm gonna call it a night, and we're gonna dive real deep into this thing tomorrow, so you don't wanna miss it. Subscribe, stay notified. Tune back in tomorrow, 2 p.m. Eastern. That's three. 2 p.m. Eastern to see more of this gal. First off, yes, this red is the exact same red that this car was. How funny is that? Like, for any of you guys that are pissed that the red's gone, it's back. <laughs> I'm the third owner, 100,000 miles, guys. No mods whatsoever, as you can see, stock as they get. Now to be honest, I think that's super awesome because that means I have a blank canvas to work on and I can make this car exactly how I want it. Now I got, I mean, I got so many plans as far as motor swaps and just ideas for this car that we're gonna talk about tomorrow, guys, because again, like I said, I don't wanna be here too long. It's late, it's been a long day and I wanna get this video edited within a reasonable hour tonight. So yes, just know we got a new car. I'm super pumped. Hopefully you guys are stoked as well. I'll show you guys actually, we'll take a quick little, just a quick, just a quick tour. So I just, I put a new battery in it. She loved it. Super clean though, dude. Super clean. Been undercoated in 2016. No rust, like no rust. And the paint is mint. If I told you guys how much I paid for it, you probably would get a little bit mad at me. I'm blown away that it lasted on Craigslist for so long. Uh, it was meant to be, man. This, this, this thing has like a, I forgot, it also has like a Bose sound system. Dude, this thing, AC works, T-tops. Dude, the thing I love most about them, and I'll stop rambling, the front end, man. These actually share the exact same headlights as the Diablo. <sighs> My girls, look at those two. Uh, so speak of, speak of the girls, uh, we have three now. I need to get rid of the BMW. So if you guys are interested, I'm currently asking 3,500 or best offer. I will have it all fixed and good to go by the time it's sold. So don't you guys worry. Uh, speak of that. We obviously worked on that earlier. I'm thinking it's going to be a fuel issue problem because I got that code that said lack of fuel. Kind of strange. And it sounds like it's not even trying to fire. So it seems like there's zero fuel. I actually have a fuel f filter that I'll probably replace on Wednesday because it's supposed to be somewhat warm. So I can actually work in the garage somewhat comfortably. But yep. So I just want to let you guys know we got it. It's here. Project is going down. And actually, guys, actually, this is, you know, this is on the stand here, you know. How convenient. Or maybe, maybe a little transplant. Just kind of play musical motors, that into here, this into there. Hey man, if there's, now, okay, so I guess the, the mods, we'll quickly just get, get, get through this a little bit. Just, I, I know you guys are super curious as to what the plan is, but we'll get mods rolling once I sell the BMW. So please, the sooner we can get it going, the more quickly I guess we can get kind of diving into this thing. Now we will obviously get going right away, but as far as like major mods, like wheels, coilovers, all that kind of stuff, really need to kind of sell some, uh, my well, the BMW to get the funds to be able to buy that kind of stuff. So also if you guys are watching and you want to help support the channel to kind of help also support this build, my, you know, both of these builds uh, to get more content, please go ahead and grab a sticker guys. Helps way more than you guys know. But yeah, this thing is so original, it's incredible. But guys, that's gonna be it for tonight. Like I said, didn't wanna make this too long. Tomorrow we're gonna go through it, clean it, check it out, automotive archeology, span getting familiar with the 300, and diving in and talking plans. So, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you for sticking through all the way till the end. 
subscribe, you know the deal. Stay notified. Check out Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, all down below. Patrons, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Everyone who ordered a sticker, by the way, should see their sticker coming to the door pretty soon. So, sorry for the wait. Been super busy. <sighs> I'm running out of breath. <laughs> Tomorrow, we dive in. Can't wait. I'll see you guys there. Later.